everyone and welcome to this video. Kleena here and I'm going to be taking you through the solution to this Leaving Cert higher level question and this question is based mainly on calculus and that's differentiation. This is one of the longer questions in the Leaving Cert paper and it's worth 50 marks. So let's get started. At the start of this question we're given a few lines just explaining what's happening. Someone's doing a training session and their heart rate, which is represented by h of x, is measured in beats per minute. It tells us that x is the time in minutes from the start of the session and we're told that for the first eight minutes of the session Hannah does a number of exercises and as she does these exercises her heart rate of course changes and we're told that in this time so the first eight minutes h of x which is her heart rate is given by 2x to the power of 3 minus 28.5 x squared plus 105 x plus 70 question A asks us to work out Hannah's heart rate four minutes after the start of the session. Now we know that we're told that x represents the time in minutes from the start of the session. So in this case x is four because it's four minutes after the start of the session. So let's fill in h4 because four is x is equal to two multiplied by four to the power of three minus 28.5 multiplied by four to the power of two plus 105 multiplied by 4 plus 70. And let me pop this into the calculator. The 4 to the power of 3 should both be inside the brackets here. So 2 multiplied by 4 to the power of 3 minus 28.5 times 4 to the power of 2 plus 105 times 4 plus 70. And that gives us an answer of 162. And that is in beats per minute. So that is our final answer. And for this answer, you are going to get five marks. In question part B, we're dealing with differentiation as we're asked to find h dash of x, which is the first differentiate of h of x. The first thing we're going to do is write down h of x. So we're given h of x is equal to 2x to the power of 3 minus 28.5x to the power of 2 plus 105x plus 70. Now let's differentiate this. So to differentiate, we remember that we need to multiply the power by the coefficient. So 3 multiplied by 2 is 6x, and then you reduce the power by 1, so we're left with 6x squared. Here you multiply 2 by 28.5, and I'm going to use my calculator for this, and you get 57x. Okay, so again I'm reducing the power by 1, plus 105 so we can pretend that there's a 1 here multiplied by 1 by 105, reduce the power by 1, so we're left with 105 x to the power of 0. x to the power of 0 is just 1, so it's 105. And because 70 is a constant term, we just leave it as 70. And this is our answer. h dash x is equal to 6 x squared minus 57 x plus 105. And for this answer, you're also going to get 5 marks. Question C follows on from question B. It asks us to find h dash 2 and explain what this value means in the context of Hannah's heart rate. First of all, we're going to get the answer from our previous question, which was the differential of h of x. So h dash x was equal to 6x squared minus 57x plus 105. Now let's fill in 2 for x. So h dash 2 is equal to 6, 2 squared minus 57 by 2 plus 105. Let's pop this into the calculator. And we get 15. So we found that h of 2 is 15 and that was quite manageable so you just find the differential and fill in h or for, fill in the value of x for 2. Now we're asked to explain what this value means in the context of Hannah's heart rate. h of x was Hannah's heart rate in beats per minute h dash of x was the rate at which it was changing. We know that x is the time in minutes that have passed h dash 2 is the rate her heart rate is increasing at or after 2 minutes. For question C, you're going to get a total of 5 marks for both the answer, which was 15, and the explanation. In part D, we're given a graph to be working out. We're told that it shows y is equal to h of x between the values of x is 0 and x is 8. In D, we're asked to find the least value and the greatest value of h of x between 0 and 8. We're asked to use calculus in our solution, but we also may use information from the graph. 
So we're asked to find the least value and the greatest value. It's quite obvious here what the least value is, and that is here. We can see that this is the lowest value that we can see on the graph. This probably here is the second lowest point, but we can definitely see that this is lower. And we know here that x is going to be zero at this point. So let's find h of x. Let's fill in x to be zero to find the value of y. So just a reminder that h of x is 2x to the power of 3 minus 28.5x squared plus 105x plus 70. Now let's fill in x to be 0. When we fill in x to be 0, these all become 0 because we're multiplying them by 0 and we're left with h dash 0 is equal to 70. So the least value on this graph is going to be 0, 70. So this is our first answer. Now let's find the maximum value. And this isn't quite as manageable. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the differential of h of x and then we're going to let it equal to 0. This is going to give us two values for x's. One of them is going to be the minimum point and one of them is going to be the maximum point. And we'll be able to work this out from the graph. So let's start with that. Let's differentiate h of x. So the differential of h dash x is 6x squared minus 57x plus 105 and let that equal to zero. To make it simpler for ourselves, now you don't have to do this, but I would do this just to make it easier. I'm going to divide right across by three to get 2x squared minus 19x plus 35 is equal to zero. And I'm going to work this out like a quadratic. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply two here by 35. So we're going to get 70. Now, what two factors of 70 add up to give us minus 19? So 70 divided by one is one multiplied by 70. You're not going to get minus 19 from that. 70 divided by two is two multiplied by 35. Again, you're not going to get minus 19 from that. So keep going up until you find five multiplied by 14. And you can use your calculator for this. Just trial and error. So five multiplied by 14 will give us minus 19. So minus 5 multiplied by minus 14 will also give us plus 70, but it, when added together, it'll give us minus 19. So now we have 2x squared minus 14x minus 5x plus 35 is equal to 0. Here I'm going to take out 2x and we're left with x minus 7. Here I'm going to take out minus 5 and I'm left with x minus 7. So 2x minus 5 is equal to 0 and x minus 7 is equal to 0. So that is just 2x minus 5 and then what's inside the bracket and let them both equal to 0. So 2x is equal to 5, x is equal to 5 divided by 2 which is 2.5 and here move the 7 over to this side and x is equal to 7. So these two are our maximum and minimum points on the graph. So 2.5 and 7. Now we're looking for the maximum point. So just by looking at the graph, which one do we think it is? 2.5 will be somewhere around here and 7 will be somewhere around here. It has to be 2.5 because this looks like it's going to be the maximum point around here. So x is equal to 2.5. Now we have the x value for 2.5. Now we need to fill in 2.5 into the h of x equation to find the value for y. So we're going to say h of 2.5 is equal to 2 by 2.5 to the power of 3 minus 28.5 multiplied by 2.5 to the power of 2 plus 105 multiplied by 2.5 plus 70. And let's put this into the calculator and see what it'll give us. And this gives us a value of 185.625. So the maximum point in this graph is going to be 2.5, 185.625. So let me put that in here, 2.5 comma 185.625. And we know that the minimum value is 0, 70. So now we found the least value and the greatest value of h of x. So that's this question done. And this question was worth 15 marks in total. In question E, we're asked how long after the start of the session is Hannah's heart rate decreasing most quickly within the first eight minutes? We're asked to give our answer in minutes and seconds. So we can't leave it as a minute in a decimal form. And it just gives us the H of X formula again. So one way you could go about this question is you could find your minimum and your maximum points, which we found in the last part of the question, and you could use the midpoint formula to find the midpoint between these two points. Now, that's not the way that I'm going to go through it today. I'm going to find h dash of x first. So this is the rate that her heart rate is changing. 
And then we're going to find h dash dash of x is equal to zero. So this is technically, it's the point of inflection, and this is when her heart rate is decreasing the most quickly. So first of all, let's find h dash of x, because this is the rate at which her heart rate is changing. We're going to multiply 3 by 2 here to find 6x squared minus 57x plus 105. And that is h dash of x, the first differential of h of x. Now let's find h double dash x. So we're just going to differentiate h dash x and we find 12x minus 57. And let this equal to 0. Now we have 12x is equal to 57. We're going to move that over to the other side. And x is equal to 57 divided by 12. Let me pop that into the calculator. And that is 4.75. And we remember from the very start of the question that x is the time in minutes. So that's minutes. And we remember that we're asked to give our answer in minutes and seconds, not just minutes in a decimal point form. So what is 0.75 of a minute? That's 45 seconds. If you can't work it out that easy in your head, what you're going to do is get 75 divided by 100 and multiply by 60 because that's the amount of seconds in a minute and you get 45, 45 seconds. So it's four mins, 45 seconds and that is the time where her heart rate is decreasing the most rapidly. So this is our answer here and this question is worth 10 marks. For question F, they're bringing some more people into the equation. They're telling us that Bruno, Karen and Martha start a training session at the same time as Hannah and all of their heart rates are measured in beats per minute. Question F part one tells us that for the first eight minutes of the session, Bruno's heart rate, which is B of X, is always 15 beats per minute more than Hannah's heart rate. We're asked to use this information to write B dash X, the differential of B of X, in terms of H dash X. So for this question, the answer is simply that b dash x is the same as h dash x. And why is that? That's because 15 is a constant and we're told that he's always 15 beats per minute more than Hannah's heart rate. So if Hannah's heart rate we know to be 2x to the power of 3 minus 28.5x squared plus 105x plus 70, then Bruno's heart rate is going to be all of this plus 15. But then when it comes to differentiating this, the 70 here and the 15 don't matter. So it's going to be the exact same as Hannah's heart rate differentiated. So now let's move on to the second part where we're told that for the first eight minutes of the session, Karen's heart rate, which is K of X, is always 10% less than Hannah's heart rate. And to use this information to write K of X in terms of H of X. We're told that Karen's heart rate, K of X, is always 10% less than Hannah's heart rate. So H of X is, of course, 100% of Hannah's heart rate. So 0.9 HX, that's 90% of Hannah's heart rate, which is, of course, 10% less. So if K of X is equal to 0.9 of H of X, then K dash of X is also going to be 0.9% of H dash X. So that's your answer for this question. Now, both F part 1 and 2 are worth 5 marks here. We're now on to the final part of this question, and this is question G. We're told that Martha does each exercise for a longer time than Hannah. So she do, does it for 10 minutes. Martha's heart rate is, so M of X is equal to H 0.8X. So we're told to use H of X, our original formula, to write M of X in the same form. So we know that Martha's heart rate, in terms of Hannah's heart rate here, what we need to do is fill in x for 0.8x. So m of x is going to be equal to 2. And instead of x, we're going to fill in 0.8x. So that's the difference between m of x and h of x here. So 2, 0.8x to the power of 3, minus 28.5, 0.8x squared, plus 105, 0.8x, plus 70. So now we just have to multiply this out. So the first thing we're going to do is the brackets. So we're going to multiply or put 0.8x to the power of 3. So 0.8 to the power of 3 is 0.512. So it's 2 times 0.512x to the power of 3. Now here again, we have 0.8x to the power of 2. So we're going to have minus 28.5 multiplied by 0.8 to the power of 2. And that's 0.64. And it's going to be x squared 
And then here we have, we just have 105 multiplied by 0.8x. So I can just do that now to make it easier for myself. And that gives us 84x. And of course, 70 just stays as it is. So now let's multiply 2 by 0.512. We get 1.024x to the power of 3. Let's multiply minus 28.5 by 0.64. And we get minus 18.24x squared plus 84x plus 70. And now we have it. We have mx in the form ax thirded plus bx squared plus cx plus d, where they're all real numbers. So this is the answer to the final question in this long 50 mark question. And this is worth 5 marks. So that's all for this question, guys. I hope you found the solution video helpful. And I'll see you all in the next video.